The 20th base defense group is for airmen who don't mind getting dirty, airmen who want to deploy, airmen who want to grow mentally and physically. The BDG is a rapidly deployable security forces unit with certain specialties not a lot of other security forces units have, such as airborne capability, air assault capability. It also has embedded AFSCs organic to the base defense squadrons, which fall under the BDG, such as medical personnel, intel, EOD techs, and vehicle maintenance personnel. The main difference between uh, traditional security forces and the BDG would be our home station mission. In a traditional security forces unit, you are supporting that base function. You are providing security, flight line security, law enforcement, things like that for home station, as well as supporting the AEF rotation. The BDG is unique in that our home station mission is to train and prepare to go and support various missions throughout the AORs. We just train and then we go out the door and get the job done. The biggest surprise for me straight out of tech school was the pace that the BDG sets. In tech school, you're set to a law enforcement, security pace, but the BDG is more infantry-esque, so you're going to have a lot of ruck marches, you're going to have vest runs, lots of outdoor training, so hopefully you don't mind getting a little muddy. You never truly know what you're about to do. They'll tell you you're gonna go to the Mount Village to do some TQB, and suddenly there's five razors out there and you're about to do some react to contact training. The changes from the training plan, honestly train you to be adaptable. You may think that you're gonna go do some close combat training and then something pops off and you have to go react to it. So one of the benefits of being a rapidly deployable and a light, lean, and lethal unit is that we have everything we need to push out the door right here at Moody Air Force Base. These missions will be very remote. Generally, all you're going to bring with you is a ruck and a few razors. So whatever you can fit in the razor and on your back is what you're going to have. All these efforts help us become lighter leaner and more lethal. Originally, I actually wanted to do law enforcement more, but now that I'm here and I'm actually doing fire team movements and things like that, I'm actually very happy that I came here instead of a traditional law enforcement base. Originally, I didn't know if I really wanted to jump out of airplanes, but talking to a bunch of sergeants about it motivated me a little bit more. And now that I'm here, I'm super happy. With a traditional security forces base, I don't think you could ever really do airborne or air assault. I would advise anybody coming into the BDG to uh, prepare yourself mentally and physically and take advantage of any opportunity that the BDG has to offer with the specialty schools or the opportunities to go different places around the world. You can get qualified on a multitude of special courses like Airborne School, Air Assault School, Pathfinder. You can get qualified to fly Raven Bees. You'll learn land nav skills, and most of that you wouldn't get at a conventional SF squadron. <laughs> this may all sound overwhelming, but the bonds you create are unparalleled, and you will be put into situations that you never thought that you would be able to survive, but you can.